Wisdom Teachings from Archangel Michael by Rana Vazane, Sacred Scribe. Your spark of divinity is immortal and eternal. Beloved Masters, never forget your reason for being is to become a conscious co-creator and that our Father Mother God is the life-giving force of your existence. You must let go of the straight line, linear time concept whereby your choices are limited and influenced by the past. A self-master functions within the law of the circle, the concept of the infinity loop, or horizontal figure eight. The infinity loop that continually flows forth from you is filled with divine potential. However, the infinity loops around you in your personal creator wheel must contain the thought forms of harmonious frequencies to support your vision. You are assured that your desires and visions will manifest in the perfect way in the perfect time if you stay centered in your heart and maintain clarity of thought and action. Remember, the human spirit cannot be defeated, for it is composed of God's stuff and is therefore indestructible. The spark of divinity that has been allotted to each of you is immortal and eternal. The world you now live in is not a reflection of the world that was planned for you. Stored within your DNA are etheric time atoms which hold the memory essence of all your past lives. You have separated and refracted yourself thousands of times. However, you have memory cells of your divinity waiting to be accessed and incorporated into your being. These memory cells are the building blocks of your light body. It is a time of attuning to the consciousness of your body elemental, and you must make time for introspection in order to develop spiritual sensitivity. You must make it a habit of continually monitoring and controlling your state of mind as you move deeper and deeper into the process of ascension and the expansion of your conscious awareness. Gradually, a good portion of your memory of past events will begin to fade as you move out of the realm of the instinctual brain and conscious mind into the realm of the higher mind. Over time, humankind became sense conscious instead of remaining God conscious, thereby gradually losing the opportunity of self-expression. The inspiration and guidance of the higher self and the soul were gradually replaced by the nudgings of the ego desire body. Original thought became a thing of the past as humanity became stuck in the illusional collective consciousness realm of thought. Your beliefs and concepts of truth became rigid, structured, and often distorted. As you gradually lost your connection to your eternal guidance, you began to focus on the outer world and you became mostly a reactor rather than an initiator. Those who are functioning within the frequency environment of the discordant third and fourth dimensions rely on their subconscious and conscious minds to store information and knowledge. Some are better at retaining and retrieving information than others. However, it is ineffectual or distorted in many cases. Remember, knowledge must be integrated and used in an appropriate, efficient way in order to be retained as wisdom. The chakras are subconscious mind centers in the beginning, these centers worked in perfect harmony. However, gradually, over time, the spectrum of duality became stronger and more prevalent, and your vibrational patterns became more discordant. As the chakra system is balanced and harmonized, the power centers of the chakras begin to work in unison for the greatest good of the host instead of warring with each other for supremacy. When you exist in the first four interdimensional levels of the brain, you are in an earthbound state of consciousness. Your focus is on self, your personal interests, and the bodily sensations of the five outer senses, sight, sound, smell, taste, and feeling. This is the realm of the ego desire body and the personal self, since the greater portion of your soul consciousness has withdrawn into your soul star within the eighth chakra, approximately six to ten inches above the crown of your head. There is a strong, narrow-minded focus on others and the world with rigid, self-serving opinions. In order to effect change, you must constantly choose a positive alternative to negative habitual responses. 
you must diligently strive to release and clear old impacted thought forms that are keeping you stuck in limitation. Many of you have made great progress in the process of balancing and clearing the imperfections within your auric field. It is imperative that you clear the destructive, distorted thought patterns of the past so that you can create the new, empowering blueprint of the future. During your nightly review of your day, envision a positive alternative to negative situations in your life, and then focus on that vision unerringly. You must keep the channel of communication open between the soul and the brain via the mind. This initiates the slow reactivation process of the pineal gland and the opening of the portal to the sacred mind, which is located at the back portion of the brain, close to the crown of the head. Gradually, as you progress into the higher, semi-balanced third dimension and lower sub-levels of the fourth dimension, awareness begins to expand to include select others, those who fit into your accepted realm of thinking and being. Your acceptance and love for others have conditions, for your personal needs and desires are still foremost. However, your love and compassion quotient begins to expand to include those who fit comfortably into your picture of reality. You begin to listen to the small voice of your consciousness or your soul self. However, you do not always follow its guidance. Some of your deep-seated habits become burdens and you begin the process of attempting to change or release them. Thus the battle between the ego and the higher self begins. Gradually the ego takes a secondary position as the servant of the soul. Your personality slowly begins to change, for ego no longer controls your emotions and your desire impulses. Your viewpoint of others gradually changes also and you begin to see situations from a higher, broader point of view. Ascension is mind expanding, a process of passing from one state of consciousness to another. Your awareness gradually expands to include all humanity, the earth, the solar system and the higher universal laws. No longer is your focus on the little self. The ultimate goal is to become a galactic being and to eventually attain a universal consciousness. When you attain and maintain some of the frequency patterns of the higher fourth dimension and the entry level vibrational patterns of the fifth dimension, a soul merge download of the facet of your higher self that resides within your soul star begins. The higher soul self gradually sends down the essence, memory seed atoms, of your higher self into your sacred heart center. In turn, this action will ignite more of the threefold flame, divine love, divine wisdom, divine will, power, within your solar power center, which encompasses the heart, thymus, and throat area. When this process is completed, you will have integrated the attributes, qualities, and virtues of that portion of your soul self. Thereafter, the next higher level of your etheric higher self will descend and take up residency within your soul star, awaiting its turn to merge with you. This process will repeat itself over and over again as you merge with greater and greater facets of your divine self. The earlier in life you begin to listen to the nudgings of your soul and higher self, the easier it is to bring the ego and the personality self under control. Your soul self, which has an inborn sense of right and wrong, will grow stronger and stronger if you take heed, or it will gradually become silent if you do not. As the power of the soul expands, sensitivity increases and your thoughts, desires, and actions become more refined and loving. The light of the intellect and the light of reason brings wisdom and understanding, for it supplies the mental nature with the fuel that enables you to comprehend and master the world of form. Be aware that forgiveness means to release or resolve imbalanced frequency patterns you have created between yourself and others as you strive to return to center. Forgiveness means freeing yourself from negative emotions so that you may continue to receive the adamantine particles of divine light. Remember, the pure essence of the Creator that you draw forth into your sacred heart must be ignited and activated via the frequencies of unconditional love. A 2,000-year-old Piscean age was ruled by the emotional nature in the astral planes of the fourth dimension. The next 2,000 years, the age of Aquarius, will now focus on the science of spirituality and the mental nature as humanity gradually moves into and becomes acclimated to the highest levels of the fourth dimension, 
and the lower entry level frequencies of the fifth dimension. The next 2000 years, the age of Aquarius, will now focus on the science of spirituality and the mental nature as humanity gradually moves into and becomes acclimated to the highest levels of the fourth dimension and the lower entry level frequencies of the fifth dimension. With you, the starseed leading the way, humanity will gradually adjust to a new, expanded self-awareness, which will gradually become the accepted norm. An aspirant on the path must traverse the subplanes of the astral plane and gain control of the emotional, astral body, the lower nature, thereby balancing the three lower chakra centers and initiating the activation of the sacred fire of the Kundalini stored within the root chakra. In the future, it will also be normal to live within the aura of a master, a distinguished being of light, or, on rare occasions, an archangel. You, the aspirants on the path, are building a bridge between the material world and the world of spirit. You must be diligent in your search for truth, and you must have an intense desire and willingness to serve if you are to join the ranks of the masters. You are now in the process of adjusting to the higher frequencies of electromagnetic light currents. The soul self encourages you to become consciously aware of the universal law so that you may take full advantage of your God-given creative abilities. All facets of manifestation begin internally, and any concept or abstract idea to be birthed must first go through an incubation stage before it can become a reality in the world of form. You must reclaim the personal power you have given to others. Also, consciously releasing the energy everyone else has placed in your auric field or attached to your solar plexus is a primary phase of returning to balance and harmony, which is required to once more become a master of self. The path to higher consciousness will eventually result in directly experiencing your God Self, I Am Presence, and the splendor and majesty of the Creator in some of its many forms. The path to higher consciousness will eventually result in directly experiencing your God Self, I Am Presence, and the splendor and majesty of the Creator in some of its many forms. Allow us to give you a few more thoughts to contemplate until we come together again. The light frequencies of knowledge become the light of wisdom. Knowledge equals personality light. Wisdom equals soul light. Intuition equals heart light. 1. You may deny the source of all, but our Father, Mother, God will never deny you. 2. Remember, just because you believe something to be true does not make it so. 3. Loneliness is an illusion. Turn inward and you will find the loving companionship you seek. It is vital that you remain in the protective custody of a golden white sphere of God light where you are assured security, inspiration and guidance. You qualify your breath with the energy of your intentions. Your sacred breath and intentions add fuel to your visions. The human spirit cannot be defeated for it is composed of God light and therefore it is indestructible. You must build your own light center in order to claim your sonship. The triad of sonship, the brilliance of your diamond core God cell, plus the light of your soul and the glow of your sacred heart create the radiance of your auric field of light. We emphasize again, there is an urgent need for trained, dedicated world servers. Initiation is now a group event, not simply an individual attainment. As you strive for self-mastery, you must be willing to assist those on the path behind you in some way so that you are lifted up and so is all humanity. The soul has a natural inclination toward group consciousness it is your soul which is seeking reunification, not the personality. My brave ones, be very sure that your primary focus at your present stage of life is on that which you desire to experience in the future years of dramatic expansion of consciousness and the monumental world changes which are now in progress. Be mindful and aware of every moment so that your focus becomes one-pointed and clear, for you are creating your new world of tomorrow one thought at a time. We are ever near to guide and direct you. You are loved most profoundly. I am Archangel Mikael.